Been moving up a little bit in the comedy world, getting some better gigs. Obviously. <laughs> Usually I stay in some crappy motels. Usually when I check in, they give me a prescription of methadone with my room key. Instead of finding a mint on my pillow, I usually find a crack pipe. Stayed in the nicest hotel I've ever stayed in Baton Rouge not too long ago. Right when I walked in the door, the guy at the front said, Hello, I am the concierge. Do you have a reservation? I said, Yo, what? He said, I'm a concierge. I said, what's a concierge? He said, I take care of business at the hotel, I get things done, I am a concierge. So it sounds like you might also be an ass herald. <laughs> Possibly a cock sucker. <laughs> most definitely a muzzier fucker. <laughs> He's a concierge, an asshole, a cock sucker, and a muzzier fucker. <laughs> For some reason, I got a feeling we didn't hit it off. I know you guys think that's stupid, but you wait. A couple of weeks from now, you're going to be in Staples or Home Depot or something. You're going to be walking around, and an employee's going to walk by, and you're going to go, Excuse me, could you tell me where he's going to go? I'm on my break. You guys are going to go, That guy is an ass hair. <laughs> possibly a cock suck hair. <laughs> she does this, is no joke, this is not a bit. She just called me two minutes before I went on stage. I haven't talked to her in two years. I've been doing these jokes about her since we broke up because she's a bitch. But she called me, I said, hello, she goes, hey, and she sounds just like that. I said, what's up? She goes, I see you're in Billings, Montana. I said, yeah, how'd you know that? She said, I saw it on your Facebook. I said, that's a neat trick since I blocked your fat ass about a year ago. She said, bring me home something from Billings. I said, oh, wait a minute. We ain't dating no more, you don't get road gifts. She said, I did you for eight years, I paid your bills, bought you weed, let you play on my butthole that time. I said, fine. <laughs> I'm not going to bring my ex-girlfriend something home from Billings. I'm thinking chlamydia. <laughs> Tattooed on my stomach, which means to... S <laughs> you know you're fucked up when that's all you can say. <laughs> How you doing? Woo! You want a drink? Woo! Can I stick something in your butt? What? No. <laughs> okay. When I first moved to Florida, I lived with a stripper. Because when you have this many tattoos, it's mandatory there. <laughs> Strippers are cool, man, but they don't have daily coping skills like the rest of us. Even little stuff like dishes used to throw her off. I said to her one time, I said, look, Ferrari. <laughs> this is a dirty dish. When you see this, pick it up, wash it, put it away. She said, yeah, but I have these. I said, I will be washing these dishes. <laughs> She used to think that any drama that arose in our life or any problems we had, we could just have sex and it would solve that problem. That's not really a joke, it's more of an announcement. I was in Pensacola, I was staying with a friend as I was getting into her shower, the light went out, I figured, hey, what can it hurt taking a shower in the dark? Blindly, I washed my hair twice with conditioner and my face with Vagisil soap. An hour later, I had an afro and I looked like a pussy.